Mrasa kuboda kunjani makadi ngaruvenda ndiarosha ngachikaranga bari mahwa chini This is 263 Africa Sport my name is Chief Koti great to have you along Let's start with some football and we go straight to Zimbabwe in the Castle Laga Premier Soccer League there are 14 rounds of matches that have been played and very soon we'll be going through to the halfway stage and tell you what a massive 113 matches have been played and 247 goals have been scored this far how's that for statistics and of course uh, we want to talk about the own goals that have been scored a total of 17 have been scored 24 red cards have been shown out so that's a pretty rough uh, structure there uh, going on at the Zimbabwe uh, football but for now we just look at the players that are doing it elsewhere but they are Zimbo definitely Kudamahachi Zimbabwe's only prime footballer at the moment he is making his way at AS Monaco and he's been doing well there scored a couple of goals in the warm-up matches that have been playing there right talking about Big Mike he is moving from Bangkok United uh, right on to Romania where he's going to be playing for Alusi United and you know what he's going to be getting a massive $220,000 annually now that's some real money there for Ezebo who's making it good so in the transfer window that's what we talk about here locally but when we look at uh, the international scene, we've got Luis Suarez, the bulldog. That's what we're going to call him here on Africa Sport uh, 263. Of course, uh, he's making a move to Barcelona and uh, it's believed to be worth about 80 million pounds. Would you believe that? That's a lot of money, but he's not as expensive as Gareth Bale from Real Madrid. Okay, we move on to some rugby news for now for the rough and tough. And uh, you know that there was the Africa Cup that was held in Madagascar and it was eventually won by Namibia and uh, Zimbabwe failed to qualify for the World Cup but you know what they still have to go on and play against Russia and then look forward to playing against Chile or Uruguay in the repercharge. charge but for the Namibians it's congratulations to them because they will be in London definitely they have made their way there and just to let you know what happened there at the tournament it had the likes of Kenya and the hosts Madagascar themselves and Kenya and Zimbabwe have won this cup before but this time around it was taken by Namibia who get that automatic ticket to go to London 2015. Ha, ah, I wish I could go there with them. But you know what? With uh, 263 Africa Sport, you can always get the updates here. Back to some African football. There seems to be trouble for some African countries that took part in the World Cup that was happening in Brazil. And you know what? Peter Odemwinji is saying that uh, he is uh, considering uh, quitting football that is international football for the Nigerian team and talking about the Nigerian team there seems to be trouble as well they've lost their coach Steven the boss Keshi seems to have left Nigeria because of course of their performance at the World Cup he was not happy with that the Nigerian government has decided to dissolve that country's football federation and this comes after some serious allegations of match fixing at the World Cup and poor organization but you know what there were five countries that took part there and only two of those five countries came up with their reputation still intact and that's Algeria and Ivory Coast otherwise there's trouble for Ghana there's trouble for Cameroon and Nigeria there is a lot of issues that are going on right there but you know what we are Africans and we can always talk about these issues and we certainly hope that they will put their houses in order but I don't know I heard something about uh, Samuel Eto'o losing his passport somewhere there I don't know he's not going back to Chelsea for sure because him and Mourinho have got this edge issue going on. I don't know, man. But you can tell us what you think. Get in touch with us on our Facebook page and our Twitter handle right there on your screen. And now we move on to the gentlemen's sport. They call it cricket. And uh, we look at Zimbabwe and uh, South Africa. Those are the African countries that are actively playing cricket at the moment. Not forgetting you, Kenya. Where are you? We need to see you there right up in the ICC. But anyway, for now, we talk Zimbabwe and South Africa. Let's start with Zimbabwe, who are preparing for South Africa who will be in the country uh, playing in a triangular series together with uh, Australia. This one is a must watch but remember we've got it here for you on 263 Africa Sport and of course uh, South Africa are currently in Sri Lanka also in preparation for this big African encounter. Anyway remember you can get in touch with us here on the Facebook page and on our Twitter right there on your screen. Don't forget to keep talking. Tell us what you want to hear. Tell us what you want to see here on 263 Africa Sport. What well, for your dosage of more sport here on uh, 263 Africa Sport, join me again next time. My name is Chief Koti. Kapabe na maduwa wu de nda.